What's going on guys? Joe with OMGRC here. So today, the continuation of the Super Claw Buster from Tamiya. Now, this is part two. And what I'm gonna go ahead and do is these motors I'm gonna I'm gonna put in there. This is the stock motors because I was gonna run the uh, 17 turn brushed motors from Red Cat. But the problem is that the electronic speed controller is only rated for 25 turn brushed motors. So I'm gonna keep it as stock for now. Go by the instructions just because I don't wanna steer anybody wrong and something happen. You know, it's okay if it happens to mine, but if someone's looking at this for instructions, then I don't wanna steer someone wrong. Keep it just all stock, rocking the <laughs> nickel metal hydride battery in there and, uh, and then upgrade it a little bit later. Anyway, let's get this thing going. All right, so I have all my parts ready to go. This is nice little tool here. So if you look at this tool here, look at it in the diagram, you know that it'll give it to you where it is as far as when it comes to the spacing of your spur gear. That's nice, so that way it's touching the gear like it's supposed to. Anyway, um, I'm gonna time lapse this this time, and I'm hoping, even if I don't have the body on it, I'm gonna at least run the RC vehicle, so at least kind of get an idea, because I'm eager to really run this thing. So let's get started. Okay, so we got our transmissions put together here. So on to page 10. So I'm gonna go ahead and get those parts and continue on. All right, so I think I have all my parts laid out that I'm gonna need here. By chance, if I do skip something, well, I'll go ahead and look at it. But it looks like everything's there that I need. You just have to look through again. They don't always show you those parts. You have to kind of look into the exploited view here to get the other parts. Anyway. Let's go ahead and time lapse this part of it. So got both transmission assembled. Now I didn't want to do both of them as a time lapse because it's just like it's repetitive. You just have to make sure that you do them both the same. So yes, everything seems to be good on that part of it. If anything changes, I'll let, I'll let you guys know. All right, so now we're on to page 11. So I'll go ahead and get those parts ready so we can get this thing. Hopefully, man, soon we'll have this thing put together. So just stick with me. All right, just kind of quick FYI, just in case here, where you see these, just make sure that they only really go on one way because one side of it, like this side doesn't have threads, this side does, and if you notice, it's got four holes here and the other one's only three. So just kind of keep that in mind when you're assembling your kit. Anyhow, you gotta put grease where grease is needed. And of course, I have bearings, so if you're in, in your case there, if you have bushings. So that is that. And here are the parts. Sometimes I don't always have all the parts laying out when I do this part of the video. So just kind of keep that in mind as well. Sometimes I'm like, oh, I need extra ones of screws or, or, or nuts or anything like that. So just kind of keep that in mind as well. All right, got everything on this part of it assembled. Now I have, we got our bumpers, our tie rods here, all our little stuff that's here. So this is on page 12. So getting that all together. 
So we can get this thing assembled. So we're getting very close to actually mounting this stuff on the chassis itself. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead, assemble this stuff. All right, so I have everything assembled from page 12. So now we're moving on to page 13 here. All right, so I got all my little parts here, assembled my bumpers, got everything as far as now. Keep in mind too, as far as how your servo goes, as far as your steering linkage, if you keep an eye on the instructions, one side says, oh, this is gonna be on your left side, vice versa, what have you, and on your right, because that steering linkage is only on one side here so just kind of keep that in mind so when everything gets comes together all your linkage you know will attach there so anyway all right so let's go ahead because we're going to be putting this thing onto that chassis so uh now we just have to uh, get these little triangles mounted up and get everything attached so cool man i'm going to go ahead and time lapse this now So it's coming along pretty good here. Um, just gotta put these friction shocks on. I'm gonna upgrade those too. So some of you guys might comment like, oh man, you gotta get rid of those and put some you know, oil sh filled shocks in there. Yeah, I know. But anyway, um, for now, that's what we got. So we're gonna go ahead, assemble all this stuff on page 14. So let's go ahead and do that. On to page 15 here. So, gonna go ahead and install the electronics. Got my electronics already prepped. I just cleaned them up with a little bit of alcohol on the bottom of them. There's our little tray. So, but uh, it says here just to go ahead and install, you know, hook up, connect your electronics, then go ahead and get to the tray part of it as far as then mounting all your stuff on there. So, anyway, that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do. And I'm gonna time lapse that as well because I have to kind of make the wires a little bit nicer than what, you know, than letting them all kind of hang everywhere. So, anyway, let me get that going.
these tires, but I'm not going to use CA glue as of right now because I already kind of tested this vehicle out. It's not, not the wheel speed's not very fast, so I don't think I'm going to need CA glue right now. I'm not going to spin these rims on these tires here, so I don't think so. But we'll see. Anyway, uh, someone did ask about the size of the hex, and it is a 12 millimeter. So just in case you guys want to know about that part of it. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'll time lapse it. We'll get all these tires up on this thing and get this thing at least some action. I'm not going to go ahead and do the body yet. So that'll be another time. I don't know. That'll be a, like part three or so on that part of it. But anyway, I want to at least run it outside and just see how it goes. So there we go, it's coming together. I'm gonna go ahead and run it as is, and I'll just tell you, it's again, friction, friction shocks, they're gonna be super bouncy, and the tires, you know, the tires are already gonna give you some bounce anyhow, but that's okay, because uh, I'm gonna enjoy this thing anyhow, just the way it is. Um, I'm gonna go ahead, put this 3000 milliamp battery in, run this thing through here. And this just gets snapped in like so. That way it's nice and it's snug. I'll go ahead and hook that up and then I'll just take it outside and do a quick run with it.